To extend a growing polypeptide chain, the ribosome must select the correct amino acids that are specified by the messenger RNA. An aminoacyl tRNA bound to elongation factor TU, EFTU for short, enters the free A site on the ribosome. If the anticodon of the charged tRNA does not match the codon in the messenger RNA, the tRNA is rejected. The process of trial and error repeats until the correct tRNA is identified. Elongation factor TU hydrolyzes its bound GTP and dissociates. If the tRNA is correctly matched and remains bound for a long enough time, it is committed to be used in protein synthesis. The ribosome catalyzes the formation of the new peptide bond and undergoes a dramatic conformational change. Elongation factor G binds to the ribosome. Hydrolysis of GTP by elongation factor G switches the ribosome back to the state in which it can accept the next incoming tRNA.